Welcome to ASFOB Tutoring. In this video we will go over 15 Army Aviation Information Questions for the SIFT test. To practice more, download the SIFT Tutoring from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Question 1. What is the reduction in fluid pressure that results when a fluid flows through a constricted section, or choke, of a pipe? A. Coriolis effect. B. The Venturi effect. C. Ground effect. D. Human factors. The answer is B. The Venturi effect describes the reduction in fluid pressure that occurs when a fluid flows through a constricted section of a pipe. As the fluid's velocity increases in the narrower section, the pressure decreases, according to Bernoulli's principle. This effect is commonly used in various applications, such as in carburetors and flow meters. Question 2. Cyclic control is used to control a. The pitch angle of all the main rotor blades collectively. b. The pitch angle of the tail rotor blades. c. The direction or tilt of aircraft. d. The power produced by the engine. The answer is c. The cyclic control in a helicopter adjusts the tilt of the main rotor disc, which changes the direction of the lift produced by the rotor blades. This allows the pilot to control the aircraft's pitch and roll, effectively determining the helicopter's forward, backward, or lateral movement. Question 3. The collective is used to control. A. The pitch angle of all the main rotor blades collectively. B. The pitch angle of the tail rotor blades. C. The direction or tilt of aircraft. D. The power produced by the engine. The answer is A. The collective control in a helicopter adjusts the pitch angle of all the main rotor blades simultaneously. By increasing or decreasing the pitch, the collective control changes the amount of lift generated by the rotor, allowing the pilot to control the helicopter's altitude and rate of ascent or descent. Question 4. Throttle is used to control. A. The pitch angle of all the main rotor blades collectively. B. The pitch angle of the tail rotor blades. C. The direction or tilt of aircraft. D. The power produced by the engine. The answer is D. The throttle control in a helicopter regulates the engine's power output. By adjusting the throttle, the pilot controls the engine's RPM, revolutions per minute, ensuring that the rotor blades maintain the necessary speed to generate lift, especially during changes in altitude or when adjusting the collective control. Question 5. Airfoil is. A. Either the rotor blades themselves or the horizontal stabilizers. B. Only rotor blades. C. The layer of air passing through the blades. D. The surface of the fuselage. The answer is A. An airfoil is any surface, such as rotor blades or horizontal stabilizers, that interacts with the airflow to generate lift. The shape of an airfoil is designed to create a difference in pressure between the upper and lower surfaces, which produces lift and allows the aircraft to fly. Question 6. The angle between the cord line of an airfoil and the airfoil's direction of motion relative to the air, aerodynamic angle, is called a. Angle of incidence. B. Angle of coning. C. Angle of attack. D. Pitch angle. The answer is C. The angle of attack is the angle between the cord line of an airfoil, the straight line from the leading to the trailing edge, and the direction of the oncoming airflow. This angle is crucial in determining the amount of lift generated by the airfoil, as it increases, lift increases up to a critical point beyond which stall occurs. Question 7. The angle between the cord line of each blade and the rotor system's plane of rotation is called a. Angle of incidence b. Angle of coning c. Angle of attack d. Pitch angle The answer is a. The angle of incidence, also known as the mechanical angle, is the angle between the cord line of each rotor blade and the plane of rotation of the rotor system. This angle is typically fixed and set by the design of the rotor system, affecting the overall performance and lift characteristics of the helicopter. Question 8. Cord line is A. The edge line of the blade. B. 
a straight line intersecting leading and trailing edges of the airfoil. C. The average width of the blades. D. A straight line from the top of the blade to the drive shaft. The answer is B. The cord line is an imaginary straight line drawn from the leading edge to the trailing edge of an airfoil. It serves as a reference line for various aerodynamic calculations, such as determining the angle of attack and understanding the airfoil's geometry relative to the airflow. Question 9. What is the name of angle between the line perpendicular to the mast and the blades in motion? A. Coning angle. B. Angle of incidence. C. Angle of attack. D. Pitch angle. The answer is A. The coning angle is the angle formed between the plane perpendicular to the mast, the rotor's vertical axis, and the rotor blades while they are in motion. This angle occurs due to the balance between the lift generated by the blades and the centrifugal force acting on them, causing the blades to bend upward during flight. Question 10. Auto rotation is A. Loss of engine power, angle down so that air keeps the rotor spinning. The freewheeling unit disconnects. B. Making the main rotor system free from engine power and freewheeling the rotor system. C. Rotating the aircraft without using engine power or turning off the engine or experiencing engine failure. D. None of the above. The answer is A. Auto rotation is a condition in which a helicopter's rotor system continues to spin due to the upward flow of air through the rotor blades when the engine power is lost. The freewheeling unit allows the rotor system to rotate independently of the engine, enabling controlled descent and landing in the event of engine failure. Question 11. Blade span is A. The average width of the blades. B. The diameter of the blade's rotating plane. C. The radius of the blade's rotating plane. D. The length from the tip of the blade to the drive shaft. The answer is D. D. Blade span is the length from the tip of the blade to the drive shaft. Blade span refers to the distance from the tip of the rotor blade to the rotor hub or drive shaft. This measurement is crucial in determining the size and performance characteristics of the rotor system, influencing factors such as lift, stability, and maneuverability of the helicopter. Question 12. What is parasite drag? A. Drag from components that don't create lift. B. Drag from the full body of an aircraft. C. Drag from all the rotor systems. D. Drag from the only main rotor blade. The answer is A. The parasite drag is the drag from components that don't create lift. Parasite drag refers to the drag created by parts of the aircraft that do not contribute to lift, such as the fuselage, wheels, and other external components. This type of drag increases with the aircraft's speed and is distinct from induced drag, which is related to the generation of lift. Question 13. A rotating body spins at the same speed unless acted upon by an external force is called a. Human factors b. The Venturi effect c. Ground effect d. Coriolis force The answer is d. The Coriolis force is an apparent force that acts on a rotating body, causing objects moving within the rotating frame of reference to be deflected from their original path. This effect is due to the rotation of the Earth or any other rotating system and influences various phenomena, including weather patterns and flight dynamics. Question 14. What is the unequal lift across the rotor disc resulting from the difference in the velocity of air over the advancing blade half and the velocity of air over the retreating blade half of the rotor disc area? A. Translational lift. B. Dissymmetry of lift. C. Induced lift. D. Standard lift. The answer is B. Dissymmetry of lift occurs when there is an unequal distribution of lift across the rotor disc due to the difference in airspeed between the advancing and retreating blades. The advancing blade experiences higher airspeed and generates more lift compared to the retreating blade, which affects the rotor's overall performance and requires compensation through techniques like blade flapping and cyclic control. Question 15. What type of drag is caused by lift? A. Skin friction drag. 
B. Profile drags. C. Induced drag. D. Parasite drags. The answer is C. Induced drag is the drag that is a byproduct of generating lift. It occurs due to the creation of lift, which generates vortexes at the wingtips and increases resistance to the aircraft's forward motion. Induced drag is directly related to the angle of attack and the amount of lift being produced. To practice more, download the SIFT tutoring from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store.